Hi friends, Shay here. So I am here to talk to you about some manga that I've read recently. These are all single volume series. So I've, I've purchased them within a single volume. That's how they're published here in the US. So that is how I'm going to talk about them. I know some of them are more omnibus where there may be multiple volumes elsewhere, but these are single volumes that I've read recently that I want to talk to you guys about. So first up, I'm going to start off with the sweetest BL I've read in a long while, and that is This Wonderful Season with You. This one is by Atsuko Yusin, published by Tokyo Pop. In this one, we're following Enoki, and Enoki is the shy, nerdy guy with the Coke bottle glasses, and he's out recruiting for the computer science club at school, and he bumps into Shirotaki here. Yeah, Shirataki. Shirataki is big, he played baseball, he's injured his arm, and now he's kind of looking for something to spark joy in his life again, I guess you could say, because he's just kind of floating through life. There were some other things associated with his injury that would be spoilers, so I'm not going to talk about them. And it's about them becoming friends and becoming more. It is really sweet. I really love this. It breaks the fourth wall several times. This just is a manga that doesn't take itself too seriously, but it is really sweet and really poignant at the same time. So I highly recommend checking this one out. And next one is for all of my like font nerds out there. And that is What the Font. So this is a manga all about different types of fonts. You get to learn a little more about them. Each one of them are like personified and they have their own individual personalities. So this was just a lot of fun to read. And this is one I haven't heard a lot of people talking about, but I just really enjoyed the journey of this. So basically this office assistant is, assistant is kind of tasked with something and the fonts have been watching her. And so they come in to like teach her and help her so that she does great at her job. And it's really cute. I really love it. I'm a font nerd. So this was just the best. Next, I have Kageki Shoujo, The Curtain Rises. This is technically a prequel to, I believe, more just Kageki Shoujo. We are getting the continuation license, so I decided to go ahead and read this. In this, we're following two young women. One is kind of like this girl who wants to be nothing but Oscar from The Rose of Versailles. We love to see it because we love Lady Oscar. And to do that, she has to be the best of the best at this theater school. Also at this theater school is a former idol who had some PR problems, and so she left her idol group, and now she's at this school. And it's about them being roommates and becoming friends and having to work together. And it's just really interesting. I really enjoy this. Highly recommend it, especially if you're a theater nerd like me. Like, this is for you. Next here, I have The Cat Proposed. This one is by Dento Hayana. Hayane? I'm not sure how you say that last name. But in this one, we have this salary man. He's just kind of been going through the motions in his life, and he's very depressed. I'm going to put a trigger warning for suicidal thoughts in here. But... As he has a moment where he tries to step off the train, he thinks about it and then he like pulls himself back. He's like, no, what am I doing? He ends up going into this place where they're doing a traditional kind of Japanese tale kind of play where they're like behind podiums and they just tell the story and they narrate it. And this guy is behind one and all of a sudden, as he's telling his story, he starts to look like a cat. And our salary man gets really startled. So from there, we find out he's a bakaneko, which is kind of like a cat demon. The only way to save the salary man, because he's figured this out, is for them to be mates. And things ensue from there. This was really fun. Again, another one that's pretty sweet. In the end of this volume and in the end of the other one, there is kind of a smutty scene right there at the end. Outside of that, these are pretty clean. So highly recommend checking them out. They are both really sweet and really fun and hopeful in their own ways. So I do recommend these series. And last but not least is probably the biggest surprise. And that is When a Magician's Pupil Smiles. Now, don't let this adorably cute cover fool you. This is a pretty horrific manga. There's lots of murder. And in this, we have Name. He is a magician's pupil. And the only time he feels anything is when he kills somebody that he has deep feelings for. So it's really kind of gut-wrenching along the way. Um, you see him bond with several people. And he ends up killing at least one of them. Maybe two. I can't remember for sure. Anyways, so you see all of this and then there's this one girl who ends up kind of helping him like 
assuage his feelings and figure out he can feel outside of killing. And so it's really interesting. I really ended up enjoying it and the art is fantastic, but this is like sad and hard to read at times. And I loved it. Like despite the horrific like things in here, I still handled it really, really well. So that says something. I'm growing. I'm not as much of a scaredy cat as I thought I was. So I might need to search out some more recommendations like this one and like Phantom Tales of the Night and some other things I've recently read. So I'm really interested to see how I'm going to feel about these things carrying forward. These are some more really short series that I think you guys should try. And I want you guys to pick them up. They're all things I picked up recently, so I know you can easily get them. And yeah. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.